What's going on guys? So behind me is the club car onward and we're actually gonna be doing a pretty large sound system inside this. We're gonna be using what's called a frog head sound box. And we have it right over here so y'all can see what it looks like and I can go over all the so features. So this is it. It's a plastic uh, injected, uh, mold injected, <clears throat> sorry, plastic mold injected style box. So it's pretty thick plastic. It's um, actually very nice. So what this does is, this one's pretty onward. They make them for a bunch of different ATVs and side-by-sides and golf carts. <clears throat> this one has the two rail cutouts for the roof right here. So we'll remove this, remove these pods. It's got brackets that actually fit right here. Those are over here. These will fit right here and then they'll connect over on the sides right here and this will fit up in there <clears throat> so it's going to look just like this so you'll have a radio here if you desire this golf cart actually has a radio down there so what we're going to do here is we're going to do a group of toggle switches for different things like rgb lighting subwoofer on and off and also radio on and off because they want the option not to have to turn the key on to have the radio on. This has an area for four speakers. I believe these are universal for six and a half and eights, but I believe this one was ordered for eight, I mean six and a half, but I believe there's enough room for eights on this one. So we're gonna mount some super tweeters up here. We're gonna mount four DS18 speakers in this poly fill it this is for like a rear view mirror or anything else that you want to hang right there and we'll probably have to build custom brackets to keep the the mirror if what they want but as far as i know they don't want to keep that and these are going away anyway so <clears throat> the reason i'm going to poly fill this just to give it a little bit of false volume uh, because these are bigger door speakers um or box speakers what we're going to have and they're mid-range, so the polyfill will actually help a little bit. But this box is gonna go up there, it's gonna secure nice, it's gonna hold these speakers very well, and it's gonna give you a lot of bass and great sound output from your speakers. Most of the time people just use some regular component, three-way or four-way, or, um, I mean, coaxial, three-way or four-way, or they'll use component like we're doing. We're gonna be having six and a half DS18 Pros, and we're gonna be having some super tweeters, but we're gonna have four six and a half and two super tweeters. That should be plenty for what they want. And then we're also gonna be mounting some other speakers and subwoofers and amplifiers in this. The only thing that this is gonna get is a grouping of wires. So we're actually gonna delete these holes that they ran in because they're already rusting. This came from the factory um, that they, well, the store that they bought it from like this. We're gonna come into this grommet right here. We're gonna drill it out, put a watertight grommet in there, and we're gonna run, um, well, it won't be here, it'll be over here. Probably a little bit higher up so it hides it better, and it's gonna be on the inside. It's gonna have a waterproof grommet, and then we're gonna fish tape the wires in here. We're gonna do uh, four runs up here and on the left side, and those will be for the speakers and the uh, super tweeters. And on the other side, we're gonna run probably six wires and that's gonna be for three toggle switches, but we'll probably end up running eight wires. That way they have the option for more toggle switches down the road. So stay tuned guys, this build's gonna be awesome, but I wanted to go over this frog head box. It's very nicely designed. It's gonna look great. Uh, here's one of the speaker covers. So this is a six and a half speaker cover. You could probably get away with some eights on this box. Definitely get away with six and a half. Um, eights are going to be tighter, but six and a half look like they'll be fine. This hole and this hole obviously are going to get cut out just by looking at it. And one thing that you got to check for is this. So this goes all the way down and comes all, so it goes all the way down. It looks like, yeah, that's going to be almost all the way down. So you just want to make sure that you don't cut into this area and that's simple to do you'll just roll it up you'll look right here that's going to be about right here so as long as we keep this one over here and this one over here we'll be good it 
does look like, and I don't know if it was supposed to come in with instructions or not, but these look like the center hole marks for them. So we should be good as long as we follow these center hole marks. I don't know if that's exactly what they're for because I've never cut into one of these, but that does seem to be the case. I wish it did come with instructions, but sadly it didn't. With all that being said, guys, if you want more information on this build, definitely stay tuned. I'm gonna have a whole build vlog on it. Uh, it'll be on my TikTok and my YouTube channel, so stay tuned.